Alrighty mofos, welcome back and in this video I am going to show you how to use properties in React. Now properties allow you to basically customize your components. So say that you're making this application kind of like Netflix. Any application where you wanted to display movies. Well, of course you didn't want to make a component to display a movie and then when you wanted to display another movie you had to make a whole different component that had a different title and maybe like the main image for it. You would basically want to make the blueprint or a template for one component and customize it in a bunch of different ways. So that's what properties allow you to do. So let's actually go ahead and do that example. So I'm going to make it called movie. And remember, anytime you make a component, you just write react, create class. Make sure you got your semicolons in the right place. And all right. So we'll keep things real simple. All I'm going to do for this component is I'm just going to display a heading one and a heading two. And we'll say that the heading one is the main title of the movie and the heading two can be like the genre or a description of the movie or something. So render function. And remember, all this does, all components do is they essentially just return some HTML. So inside here, since we're going to want a heading one and heading two, then I'm going to need to wrap those in a div. And now I'll just put heading one and I'll say movie name. And again, this is what we're going to want to replace. This is going to be equal to something like avatar, goodwill hunting. It's going to be different every time we use this component. But for right now, I will just hit that as a placeholder. And why are you not copying? All right. So for heading two, we'll just write the genre. And just so we make sure that everything is working up to this point, let me just go ahead and render one of these components right here. So if I go ahead and refresh this, all right, our component is looking good. But of course, we don't just want this in here. We want custom properties. So instead of just using your component like this, you can actually add attributes to it, just like you have attributes right here and they're equal to some value, you can do that in your own custom components as well. So in this movie component, uh, let me just say title. And for the title, I can set this equal to anything I want. So for this first one, I'll just say avatar. So this is what's going to display right here. Now after this, let me just go ahead and give it a genre. So again, these properties can be named anything you want. Title, genre, favorite food, pudding, whatever. So um, I'll say, what is Avatar? An action movie? All right, there you go. So now what we did is we made this component and we passed in two properties, a title property and a genre property. So now how do we say where to display them? Well, you display them by writing curly braces. Now, any of your properties, you can access through this dot props. So if we want to access the title, we write this dot props dot title. Whenever we want to access the genre, write this dot props dot genre, just like that. Now, if I refresh this, check it out. Now it says avatar action. So this is the coolest part about properties. And I'll show you guys this right here. Actually, it might be easier if I do this, put it on a new line. All right, so say that we want to display three different movies. We wanted to display Avatar and what's another movie? The Notebook. And the genre of The Notebook is romance. And what's uh, another movie? Captain America. Then what we can do is we can render three different components and each of these components have different properties. So check this out. Every time I render one, instead of just having some static text in here, it actually gets the title of whatever the component is in the genre right here. So again, a property is essentially an HTML attribute that we can pass in to customize our components in different kinds of ways. Pretty awesome, eh? Nice. I'll see you guys next time.